What's what's going on, my fellow collectors? I'm back again with another review. Um, today I had to finish my unboxing from yesterday. Um, just got off from work not too long ago, a couple hours ago, um, and I said, you know what? It's time to finish my unboxing. You know, but first, before I get started, um, one of my fellow collectors had a. Uh, left a comment on his videos I just checked out, my boy Rick Clipper King, um, and he was just saying that <laughs> I'm crossing over to the dark side, I'm playing the part of Anakin into the Hot Toys community and everything, and uh, basically, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I never ever planned on just being strictly Hot Toys, and some of you guys are the same way on Strictly Hot Toys, you'll jump ship and go to Inner Bay sometime if the figure looks right, or you'll go with whoever, you know what I mean, I like action figures, you guys know that, I'm an action figure fucking buff, you know what I mean, I'm hardcore, you know what I mean, I'll make my collection work, I'll make sacrifices and what I gotta do in life just to get that ultimate collection, that's what my channel has always been about, and that's what it's gonna stay about. You know what I mean? As for Rick saying, you know, he's not in the 3A, <laughs> you know what? That's all good. I totally respect that, and I understand that. You know what I mean? Some guys out there collect NECA figures and all types of other figures, and they collect hot toys, you know, too. I might not watch their NECA figure videos because I really don't have an interest in NECA figures. But if he's showing hot toy figures, I'm going to be all up on it. You know what I mean? And that's just how it is, you know? And sometimes I might not even watch a Hot Toy figure, but the nine times out of ten, you know, I think even though we all have the same type figure, you know, doing the same type thing, it's really a community thing here. You know what I mean? We like to see what our fellow collectors is thinking about their new purchase that they got from Hot Toys, whether you like it, whether you hate it, or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? So, it's like I was telling my buddy the other day, he was telling me, you know what, I'm thinking about stop doing reviews. You know, and I'm like, you know what, man? No, don't do that. You know what I mean? Even though somebody else is doing that review, you know, we still want to know what your opinion is on that figure. So, I was telling him, don't stop doing that. You know, don't stop for nobody. You know, and just like, I'm not going to stop collecting 3A, I'm not going to stop collecting Inner Bay, I'm not going to stop collecting whoever else come out with this hot figure. But companies do piss me off when they do certain things like Hot Toys, when they keep remaking the same figure where we would like to see what other projects they coming from. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and it's like, hold up, why are you putting all that muscle into that, you know, and we want to see, you know, the rest of this line that you promised us. So, you know... But, you know, Rick, my brother, you know what I mean? Like, it's all gravy. Um, you know, if you don't chose to watch some of the videos sometime, that's all good. I don't take offense to that. You know, it's how it is out here. You know, and that's how it is. But, uh, let's see what's in the box. 3A, -A -A. can it be the 3A? Is I'm done with hot toys, who will never know until I open up this box right here, guys. <laughs> you know, and um, it's just 3A got some nice pieces going on, guys. And you know, if you want something different, jump into it. You know, it's hard to get into 3A when you got hot toys just keep pouring out all types of crazy remake figures and all that good stuff. So, you know, I wanted something different, I've been wanting something different, and you know, a few other collectors have, you know, eased my way with it. You know, especially one collector with his amazing posing, uh, a.k.a. the Tomorrow King. That boy is straight vicious on his posing tip. I think that kind of pushed me because I was just like, wow, his posing actually is telling a story. You know what I mean? And I just was blown away by that guy. So I think that kind of edged me on to really jump in. But uh, can you guys see what it is? Can you see, can you see what that box is brown? Brain, baby! Do you have it right here? Hold up, you might not see that yet. Let me turn it back, turn it back, turn it back to the side. Turn it back to the side, guys. For the ones that missed out on what that little sneak peek was. This bad boy open right here. And about to slip him down to the side. Check it out, guys. I have them finally. Thor 
it's in the collection, and I didn't even see the movie yet, guys. That's just to let you know that when I see a good figure, I'm usually on it. You know, whether I seen the movie or the movie sucked or anything, and I just like figures. Again, like I said earlier, so box is pretty cool. Shoe box, typical type style, as you can see. Cape right there on the inside. Hmm. Cape is not bad. I like the cape. I like the design of the cape. Cape looks good. Let's see what this bad boy is like in here. Slip cover, as you can see right here. And, oh snap. It's looking good, guys. Looking, looking good. Double plastic shells. Oh, wow. Stay tuned for a review, guys. I'm going to hook it up, hook it up like I never did, like it's 1999. All righty. Peace out. Our boy don't understand, guys. Peace.